Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to tackle a topic that scares a lot of artists because we are going to talk about how to safely package your painting when sending it either to a buyer or to a gallery. And also I have a great announcement to make, so please stay with me and stay tuned. As you can see, my studio is quite a mess today and there's a very good reason for it because I've changed up the whole setup because I have to package and ship two of my larger scale paintings to London. The reason for it being I actually have participated in an open call launched by the Holy Art Gallery a um, couple of weeks ago and two of my works have been selected to be exhibited in October. Obviously I'm completely over the moon and very excited by this huge opportunity for me and it is also the very first time that I'm exhibiting abroad. And honestly, I can't even think of a better city where to start your international painting uh, debut than in London. London, baby! Now, before we get cracking with the packaging, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going over to London actually for the opening. And I would be obviously very glad to see you, to meet up in person and to get to chat about art a bit, if you're into that. And yeah, it's also a great opportunity for anyone who is maybe not particularly into my painting style, but is on a lookout for artworks to take home. There are many, many different very talented artists who will be present that day and who are exhibiting their work because obviously it's a group exhibition. So for anyone who is in London or around London at that time, this will be a great opportunity to purchase some art and to meet very kind and talented people there. Don't miss out on that. The opening night is at October the 6th. So in about two and a half weeks, if I'm correct, and everything will be on display until the 16th of October. I will leave the address and the opening times in the description down below. And of course there will be a little open bar happening on the opening night. So yeah, I think this will be a very precious moment to share. Maybe also two words about the Holy Art Gallery. They are really great at helping artists out all around the world and giving them a great opportunity to showcase their work, both through physical exhibitions like the one that I'm part of and digital exhibitions in London, Athens and I think Madrid as well. If you're interested in finding out more about them, once again the link will be in the description. And now we will have to start packing. I think that packing up an artwork and sending it out is one of the most fearful and stressful moments um, that an artist can experience, I guess, because you're obviously always worried about the state that they are going to arrive in, right? And if you think about it, even with smaller packages that are not as fragile, there's always so many spots of bother, right? Regularly in our everyday lives when we receive a package, sometimes they're half open, sometimes they're really damaged, sometimes they were stocked somewhere that was really damp and got water damage. I know that any of those things already happened to me when ordering book, when ordering any types of objects. So obviously I would not want this to happen to any of my paintings. Obviously. Because not only will it well destroy the object and that is so much priceless time of mine lost, but also I kind of wouldn't have an exhibition to participate in, right? So it is really important to do anything you can in order to protect your work. I was actually so much afraid that I honestly considered packing it up and taking it with me on the Eurostar in order to make sure that nothing happens to it. And if anything happens to it, you're there. So. It gives you a full sense of security, I think. Although if you think about it, as many things can go wrong 
if I take it with me and take it through the train and through public transport and stuff like that uh, without even thinking about how huge uh, the package will be. So I'm not even sure that I would physically be able to um, transport it myself. But anyway, I then rationalized it out, telling me that I will just do my very best in order to protect both paintings and um, that everything will go well. And yes, if you haven't noticed, this is me reassuring myself here. <laughs> Um, so I thought about it a lot and I did some research as to what materials to use in order to secure it in the best way possible. Actually all the paintings that I've sold in the past were wood panel paintings so they are not as fragile as stretched canvas obviously that can easily be pierced when moving around too much or if stocked throughout the transport incorrectly. My main focus here is thus going to be how to reinforce um, the stuffing within the box in order to make sure that whatever happens nothing can go through or bend the package or pierce it in any way. Now I'm going to show you how I do it and I'll take you through every step of the process. What we're going to start with is some stretch film. Because my thinking here is, although both paintings are now dried and varnished, I would really like to avoid them rubbing on each other, right? So I think that stretch film will help doing that as well as keeping out any dust and stuff like that off the surface of the painting. So both of them are going to be first wrapped in stretch film roll. This was amusing seeing me struggle. <laughs> it might be better for a two-person job actually when the painting is this size but um, I battled through. Both are now stretch film wrapped. So the next thing that I would do here is to do a first layer of basic shock protection and that is best done with bubble wrap. And it so happens that I've purchased a huge roll that is exactly the right size for both paintings. And the good thing is, whenever you are struggling too much, you can always pop a little bubble and then feel better about it and keep on battling on. So let's bubble wrap. Okay. Now that we have the stretched film on that protects the painting from any dust and scratches, uh, we have the bubble wrap that protects the paintings from any impact when dropped or anything, we have now worry about a third protection and that is from anything piercing into the carton board of the final package. So what I thought might be giving you the necessary thickness and rigidity and therefore the necessary protection would be styrofoam. This will of course not be very 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 fun to transport and to cut into pieces but I think that this will really make the difference between you know continuing to wrap it in other layers of bubble wrap it just won't be as you know thick and firm enough in order to really protect your paintings uh, my thinking was if we imagine a situation where let's say against um, those fragile and handle with care stickers that will be plastering the final packaging for some reason the delivery company will decide to stock any other cartons on top of it. I will definitely be happy in having um, the styrofoam absorbing both the shock and distributing the weight of other packages more evenly onto the whole carton board. I think you will be very happy of having no sound on the time-lapse because it will be a hell of a sound 
cutting styrofoam here for me. But there's no way around it, let's get to it. What I nearly forgot to tell you and nearly forgot to do is attaching a authenticity certificate with a business card and a thank you note in an envelope to the back of each painting. I will be using masking tape to do that um, in the same way that I did actually to fix the bubble wrap because I don't want to um, the person handling the package to tear everything off if you use if you use scotch that is what always ends up happening although masking tape on the other hand will just help it stay on neatly and not damage anything so I think to be sure I'm just putting it all on the four edges here doesn't have to be aesthetic remember that it's not the client who's going to experience the packaging but uh, the gallery so they are going to take everything apart anyway the point here being uh, just secure the envelope with the authenticity certificate uh, tightly to the back of the painting that way even if anything moves around as you can see it will not fall off right so um, it appears that I have cut the styrofoam correctly uh, it fits in size I have just added three extra centimeters on each side uh, in order to take into account the extra sizing from the bubble wrap and I think it turns out really nicely everything is in place so now I'm going to fit both um, paintings then add the second layer of styrofoam and then try to fit it into a cardboard in terms of order of layers my thinking here is I want to protect the front of the painting as much as I can. So I think I will turn them front to front within the cardboard so that you have the backs exposed at both sides and this is where the styrofoam goes but this way the real front of the image, both of them, are going to be right in the middle of the package and that is I think the safest place for them to be within the packaging. I'm going to attach the second envelope to the second painting and then put it together in a sandwich way and finally attach the last layer of styrofoam and then we are nearly there. Right guys, there we have it. So as I told you, we have a nice sandwich here between the styrofoam, the bubble wrapping and the second layer of styrofoam. The faces of the paintings are both here in the middle, so they're turned face to face. Only problem is, well problem, um, is that we have some space left here and as well on the other side so what I'm going to do is I will take the remaining uh, bits and bobs of styrofoam carton and everything else in order to put them in there uh, in whatever form and um, block the space so that the paintings won't budge and um, well it's not that much actually that I'm afraid that they're going to move within the carton as much as the fact that um, if anything if there's a shock from from the sides is that I don't want the carton here the cardboard to fall inside so this is more uh, from this point of view that um, I think it is necessary to put some stuff in for extra stuffing.
space. And this is what it looks like now that I've stuffed the remaining space with leftover styrofoam at both sides as you can see. And the final step here will be to add those foam rolls that I initially bought um, to protect the corners because they open up here along the line and you can fit the painting in here so that you can protect the corner or the sides but this doesn't fit anymore because uh, this was, hmm, let me think, made for five centimeters of depth I think and we are now at 10 here but that's not a problem because now I can fit them on top of everything. I have two and this way it protects the upper side of the painting as well because they didn't have styrofoam for that. You see and I've done the exact same thing at the bottom. So I first put those uh, foam rolls into the carton box then the paintings, then the styrofoam, and then now again the, the foam. So now I only have to fold this and scotch this, and this will be it for the day. Well, if this doesn't suffice in order to secure the paintings that I honestly don't know, what will? All right, and this is the beast, all packed up. So all I have to do now is scotch this together and it would have been an honest day of work. Not exactly what I would call the most fun part of the job, but without the whole packaging thing, there is no exhibition, so you have to power through. And um, I must say, now that everything is packed up, I do feel more comfortable and more confident in the paintings arriving safely in London. So it was a bit cathartic as well. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this packing session. I hope that I will see at least some of you at the exhibition on the 6th of October in London at the Holy Art Gallery. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers. <laughs>